So welcome to this making of video. Last week I created this beat uh, in drum and bass style, except I only used a guitar whatsoever. No drums, no basses, no synths. And uh, in this video I just wanted to demonstrate how some of the things work and how I recorded them and how I basically made the song. So if you got some time, just sit back, relax and enjoy this. So what you see me now doing is that I found the one take that I was most satisfied with and I pick this one up, drag it to, towards the rest of the beat and I trim the noise that you find uh, around the transient, that means where the, where the hit is. So um, I remove all unwanted noise basically. And then I multiply it, I copy and paste it and add the snare to where I want it to be, in this case on the 2 and the 4 of the beat. And the same way as with the snare, I found the take I was most satisfied with and I trim the noise around it, like you see me do right here. I copy paste it and uh, get the desired rhythm. So now we got a pretty nice beat going and it's time to fill in with some guitar. So now I'm gonna add some more guitar with a lot of reverb. When it comes to creating drum and bass, it goes without saying that bass is kind of crucial. So how was I supposed to do this? Well, I just pitch down the guitar like this and yeah. So now that the fundamentals were uh, complete, you know, the beat and the repeating bass line as well with some guitars, I could now start tweak around with the sounds. So what you see me do right here is turning up volumes and frequencies and pressing buttons, uh, basically just shaping the sounds the way I wanted, to, wanted them to be. Uh, I also went on to arrange the song so it's not just this same loop over and over again. And by adding more instrument, I had to improvise like this. So I figured out that I needed a shaker of some sort and I can't use my trusty pineapple right here because that's not a guitar. 
but I have this idea instead. So how about just turning one of the guitars into a shaker instead? So I grab this guitar right here and I have a bag of picks. Alright, so this is the full project. There, as you can see, there are a lot of things here that I haven't covered in this video, but that's because I wanted to make it easy to follow along with and not go into full detail. So earlier, when I said I was pressing a lot of buttons, this is actually what I was talking about. This one right here is called an EQ, and uh, this one is called a compressor. And you use them to shape the sound to make them fit better to the song. You can also drastically change them by using this. So if you want me to go more in detail on these things, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to make another videos like that in the future. Before we play the whole song, I would sincerely appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel and like this video. A lot of the effects that happens throughout the songs uh, kind of reminds me at least of synthesizers and stuff like that. But the premise was that I was only going to use guitar, so all of this is actually just guitar. Uh, effects like, uh, let's say, this one right here, a riser. That's made by reversing the track. Like, it's a guitar track, and I reversed it and added some effects and, yeah, just tweaked it a little bit, so, in order to create something like that. And uh, if you want to know more about that subject, I have a video called Fa Why Fake Guitar is Great, and uh, you should definitely check that out if this interests you. But, without further ado, uh, let's take a listen at the whole song uh, while we have the project open. <laughs> 